Arachnid and Insect Skeletons You may call them all bugs, but spiders and scorpions aren't insects. They are part of a group of animals called arachnids. Arachnids have two-part bodies and eight walking legs. Insects, like ladybugs, have bodies with three main parts and six walking legs. Both insects and arachnids have exoskeletons. The outer covering of their bodies and legs is hard. It protects the soft inner parts of their bodies. This spider's body and its eight legs are protected by its exoskeleton. Some arachnids' exoskeletons are fierce weapon systems. For example, a scorpion's tail has sections that act like joints. While the scorpion holds its prey with its pincers, its tail curls up and delivers a deadly sting. Another type of arachnid, called a tarantula, might look soft and furry, but it still has an exoskeleton. The hard covering over each leg is divided into seven segments, or parts. This makes the tarantula flexible. As a tarantula grows, it molts, or sheds, its exoskeleton from time to time. Insects, such as beetles, are protected by a tough waterproof exoskeleton. Adult beetles have more of this armor than any other kind of insect. Some even have pointed spikes and horns. All beetles also have hard wing cases that cover their wings. They have to open these wing cases to fly. A beetle takes flight. This beetle is about to fly into the air. The beetle grips the plant while the hard wing cases begin to open. The hard wing cases spread out and the thin hind wings open and begin to move. The beetle glides into the air. The growth of a damselfly. Young insects change in size and shape as they grow up. Some kinds of young insects, such as young damselflies, dragonflies, and grasshoppers, change shape gradually each time they molt, or shed their exoskeleton. Young insects, like these, are known as nymphs. This change in shape is called metamorphosis. The nymph rests on a stem. The nymph grows, and the skin splits. The nymph is now an adult. It breaks free of its exoskeleton. The wings grow longer and expand as the damselfly moves farther up the stem. Two hours later, the adult is now at its full length and can fly. A few days later, the adult damselfly is fully developed. Skeletons all over. You've now had a chance to find out about skeletons, inside and outside. Endoskeletons are inside the body. Exoskeletons are outside the body. Skeletons are very important as they support the body's weight and protect the organs of the body, such as the brain. Skeletons give animals the power to walk, climb, swim, or jump. A fish's skeleton, for example, gives it the power to swim through water. Without our skeletons, we would not be able to pick up a pen, jump, or dance to music. When was the last time you thought about the skeleton inside of you?